let's start the new article geometrical representation of the law of conservation of angular momentum here you are watching the figure in which this planet p is revolving around the sun in elliptical orbit What is the elliptical orbit you all know? And here the path of motion of the planet is also shown in the elliptical shape also. Suppose I am considered that the linear velocity of the planet P is small v and with this I can find out the angular momentum of the planet but we have to choose some reference point so according to which you are taking the or you are taking observation of the planet so with respect to sun you are taking the observations of planet so the angular momentum of the planet with reference to the sun is given by capital L and that is M into V into D means I omega type I have considered so this is the first equation of my analysis or the geometrical representation now I have to consider this motion in this way first of all you consider this triangle the triangle which I am going to consider over here as sun, this point Q and at the planet P. So triangle SQP I am consider over here. So the area of triangle SQP is given by A is equals to 1 by 2 the base of that and the base is as Q and any one side of that that I am consider over here as PQ so that is 1 by 2 the SQ is written over here as D and the PQ is denoted by small s so 1 by 2 into D into S. Now if you see the figure then the planet is moving from point P to P2. Means it is considered the displacement in time interval. Suppose delta T is the time interval. So after covering this distance there is change in the area of triangle SQP and the change I am consider over here due to the motion of planet and that is given by 
डेल्टा ए दैट इज इक्वल टू वन बाय टू देश विल बी सेम ओनली द चेंज इज इन द डिस्टेंस एस सो वन बाय टू इंटू डी इंटू डी एस नाउ फॉर इंस्टेंटेनियस आई एम गिविंग द चेंज इन द एरिया विथ रिस्पेक्ट टू टाइम देर फॉर लिमिट डेल्टा टी टेंस टू जीरो डेल्टा ए ओवर डेल्टा टी दैट इज इक्वल टू डी ए बाय डी टी which is equals to 1 by 2 into d is common into ds over dt now i am multiplying these two quantities or both the size with respect to mass therefore m d a by dt is equals to 1 by 2 m into d now see s is actually the position and here change in the position with respect to time so that is considered as velocity and hence this is 1 by 2 m into d into v but from the equation 1 this is our angular momentum and hence your m d a by dt will be one by 2 of l now suppose the line of action of the gravitational force on the planet due to sun is passing through s then torque due to this force with respect to sun becomes zero when the line of action or gravitation or of the gravitation is passes through the point s now when torque is zero then angular momentum will remain constant as the angular momentum is remaining constant then according to this equation the value of rate of change in area with respect to time is also maintained that means it is constant so this equation represents kepler second law of planetary motion and the kepler second law for planetary motion is given by the area swept by the line joining the sun and the planet in unit time so this quantity will remain constant so this is actually the explanation of this mathematical equation da by dt is constant and the aerial velocity being constant
is the geometrical representation for the law of conservation of angular momentum that is capital L. Now we will see the concept of moment of inertia in detail. Let's study about moment of inertia. So in this case I will consider a rigid body. with n number of particles so for individual particle I am writing some characteristics these are the particles 1, 2 up to n for particle 1 it is having mass m1 m2 up to so n so m n also their perpendicular distance from the given axis so that is position vector R1, R2 and Rn and so the addition of both these quantities in this form I is equals to M1 R1 square plus m2 r2 square plus so and so mn rn square is called the moment of inertia and in general it is written as i is equals to sum over small i is equals to 1 to n mi ri square and this is your first equation so how can you define it or one property which you have observed from this so here the magnitude of the moment of inertia depends upon the selection of axis so see this is slightly different to angular momentum in angular momentum the magnitude was depending upon the selection of reference point and here the magnitude of moment of inertia depends upon the selection of axis and also the distribution of mass about it and the SI unit for the moment of inertia is given by the SI unit of mass that means kilogram and R is the distance so it is meter square and its dimensional formula is M1 L2 T0 here the equation of L is related to angular velocity in this way means I omega similarly you can remember one equation P is equal to MB so both are comparable this is the 
linear momentum here the angular momentum this is moment of inertia here the mass is coming this is angular velocity and this is the linear velocity and also if you remember the equation of torque or tau is determined by i alpha and according to newton's second law of motion the force was given by f is equals to ma this above equation refers to the rotational motion and the equation of force is for linear motion here i is moment of inertia here mass is coming so the moment of inertia plays a same role as the mass plays in the linear motion so both are comparable here alpha and here the acceleration this is linear this is angular this is linear force this is angular force or we can consider these as the torque now we will solve an important illustration that is illustration number 